It could be a long night or a very short, painful night for Errol Spence Jr. <laughs> Hey, welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Goose. You know we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating. We're going to do a lot of uh, each of those today. I'm the Goose. So glad you joined me for another show, and this one's going to be a little different, okay? Uh, you'll like it, I, I guarantee. We'll start, though, like we always do, with some coffee. My coffee, there ain't no decaf here, boys and girls. It's the real thing. My coffee, very strong, like my opinion, and got some creamer in there to make it uh, sweet, just like you know who. Okay, settle down, Cooper. <laughs> Cooper thinks I'm talking about him. You're you're sweet. You're sweet too. Go lay down. Go go. Sheep. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You're the star. Oh goodness. Oh yeah. Here we go. Now, getting ready for the big fight, and we're all excited. I think everyone's excited about this one because it's two true champions. Manny Pacquiao, who recently got his WBA World uh, Super Welterweight title back, and uh, uh, two division or two uh, belts uh, owned by Errol Spence Jr., undefeated champion, uh, living in the Dallas area. So two great fighters. We're very excited about it. Now, this is going to be a reaction video. I've done this in the past, although it's been quite a while, and uh, I'm uh, uh, really impressed by a young TV reporter. Uh, I believe she's in the Manila area. Her name is Lynn Oliverio. Now, what do I know about reporting? Uh, I know a lot about reporting. You know that. I, I was in the radio business for 35 years. Not bragging, just, hey, you know, we all have our gifts. And uh, been doing the YouTube thing for a couple of years, too. And I might get back into radio here. I just found out yesterday. We'll see. But I know a lot about interviewing and uh, journalism. And uh, it's nice to see... Uh, someone in this case, uh, Lynn Oliverio, who's a real pro, asks all the right questions. And uh, it's uh, it's fun to watch and we'll give you my reaction. So let's start. Uh, we'll start with uh, Manny uh, training in the Manila, the Manila area. Uh, and uh, we see him running now with his entourage, a small looking entourage. But you know some of these guys uh, in his group, remember, he's he's a senator too. Uh, there's some protection going on. You don't want to rush up on Manny at any time. Uh, uh, and, and this is a great case. Uh, Manny, of course, like many fighters, uh, running is the key. Your legs are the key to victory in many respects. Number one, uh, your endurance and uh, your power. It all comes from the legs. And uh, now you see a little video of uh, Manny shadow boxing. And you see, even at the age of 42, he's still got it. He's still got that speed. And they showed the uh, the calves. And there you see the power in the legs. Uh, he's got, uh, what do they call them? Uh, uh, hockey, what do they call his legs? Uh, I can't remember. But he's there, there. there's some strength there. Manny hits fast and he hits hard. And you can see as he's... Uh, Turning, and uh, that's another big part of Manny Pacquiao's game, is the angles. Uh, you never know where the punch is coming from. He's great if it, but even if he fights you head on, but that's not how he rolls. He's turning angles and trapping you and coming at you from different angles. Now we see uh, Manny, and uh, uh, this is again vintage Manny Pacquiao. He does his own tapes uh, on his hands and his wrists. And uh, again, a little more shadow boxing. And he's teaching his son how to do that as well. Manny does it all. Uh, he's, uh, again, uh, the shadow boxing is really scary to watch. You swear this man is not 42 years old. That is incredible speed. And uh, I just got done watching uh, one of his uh, great fights against Miguel Cotto. And uh, the speed and the angles and the trapping was involved there uh, from the get-go. And he was a scary, scary fighter back then. And he still is. Now he's with Boo Boy, his longtime friend and assistant trainer, Boo Boy Fernandez, uh, hitting the mitts. And uh, again, you can see the strength and, and you can hear it. That's another difference with Manny Pacquiao. People who don't know much about him will say, well, oh, yeah, he's fast, but come on, uh, he's not that powerful. Listen, boom, boom, boom. He's the man hits hard. And you'll also see 
uh, in this video and you watch a couple of his uh, uh, fights throughout his career, um, some of the different punches that he's developed. He's not just a straight on left handed power puncher. His uh, right hook is devastating. And uh, I saw again with that Kodo fight a replay of the Keith Thurman fight. It was a uh, left hook to the body and then the right, which knocked him down. And that's what he did to uh, Miguel Cotto, who was a sensational fighter. And why did I watch the Cotto fight again today? I'm trying to find somebody who mimics the power uh, of Errol Spence Jr. And I can really only think of two fighters. Uh, Miguel Cotto was one, and he fought Manny uh, to a standstill the first couple of rounds. And uh, uh, Antonio Margarito. Other than that, there really isn't anybody I can find that can... Uh, uh, make Pacquiao back up. Another punch that you'll see Manny uh, work on as he's hitting the mitts uh, with Boo Boy is the uppercut. And again, I've seen two cases, one in the Cotto fight, the other in the Lucas Matisse fight, where, where the uppercut, the left uppercut, dropped his opponent. Uh, again, it's all the combination. It's using both hands. It's, see, there's body shots. And that's, again, with uh, Cotto and uh, Thurman, the body shot set up the uh, the right hook, which dropped his opponent. Uh, on the flip side, you see his opponents try and work Pacquiao's body. No, it doesn't work. Pacquiao's rock solid in his midsection. And now you see the speed and the power as he hits the heavy bag. Listen for a second. Listen to this. You hear it. You hear it. And it's speed. Now, I saw another video recently, side by side, Pacquiao and Errol Spence Jr. doing the same thing. Uh, who's the old man? Errol Spence Jr. is the old man. He, he's much slower. He's much slower than Manny Pacquiao. Now you see the speed bag. And uh, that's incredible. Uh, and again, the body. And this is where uh, Pacquiao uh, won more area where Pacquiao far exceeds his uh, uh, his opponents and that's the body work. I've never seen anybody hurt Manny Pacquiao with a body shot or even set up a devastating punch with a body shot. Manny uh, is uh, incredibly fit and always has been especially now at the age of 42. Let's move on now to the interview I was referring to. Again the uh, young lady's name is Lynn Oliverio, a uh, reporter uh, TV reporter in the Manila area, and she's she's a pro. And uh, now we'll start the interview. And uh, the first question, I'll uh, do my weak translation of Tagalog for you. Uh, and the first question from Lynn Oliverio is a, a simple uh, question that usually you start with: How are you feeling? Uh, it's been a while since your last fight. And Manny says, "Hey, I'm excited. It's uh, great to have a two-year rest." It helps me a lot since I've been boxing for a long time. At least my body got some rest. And uh, that is so true. Uh, we hear ring rust. Oh, it's been two years. He's lo He ain't lost nothing. Now, again, I'm not making a prediction on the fight. That's still almost three months, uh, two and a half months into the future. I'm not going to do that yet. yet. But uh, there's no ring rust. Uh, and as somebody who's gotten older and still stays active, Rest is the key. It's the key at any age, but especially as you get older. Next question from uh, Lynn Oliverio is, uh, you don't see that as a disadvantage, the two-year break, uh, since uh, for not fighting for two years? Manny says, it's not a disadvantage. My skills are still there. The speed is still there. And uh, uh, I, I have that good feeling, just like when I first learned how to box. Uh, that was when I uh, missed boxing. I have the same feeling now. There's the adva another advantage of the two-year layoff. Not only does he feel fresh physically, mentally he feels fresh. He's excited again. That's, that's uh, beware, Mr. Errol Spence Jr., <laughs> beware. You got a Hall of Famer who's well-rested and uh, physically and uh, and mentally, and he's going to come at you. Uh, you don't need to talk trash like Keith Thurman did, uh, although you already said you're going to retire him and you want uh, uh, Terrence Crawford next. Beware, uh, Errol Spence Jr. 
This is a dangerous animal. You don't let, don't write him off. Don't take him too lightly. Uh, next question by Lynn Oliverio. Uh, there was Crawford and Mikey Garcia on your list, but why do you pick Spence? He is young and the most dangerous and a southpaw. Why pick Spence? We're all wondering that. Manny says, it's great because it's a challenge to me. Here again, this Pacquiao, he only wants the best. Um, to see if I'm still good in boxing, it's a good challenge since he's an undefeated champion. He's a champion and younger than me. And uh, yeah, that's what makes it so exciting, any Manny Pacquiao fight. And <laughs> I like the way he's looking at her, like, it's a good question, but you should know this. You should know me by now. Um, not like me, huh? Not like me, <laughs> right. Uh, Lynn Oliverio, uh, and again, asking the right question, she says, you are a significant underdog, which is true. Uh, Manny says, it's natural. Since, I've, uh, since it's been a while that I fought, but when the fight is near, the odds will change when they see my condition uh, then and how I prepare for the fight. I'm still in good, uh, good shape, uh, good time in my target. Uh, uh, the start of my training was great, and we have enough time to be at 100% condition. It, it, that, and that's true. We've said this before. Uh, man, why is it? Why is it Manny Pacquiao is always the underdog? Uh, it still astounds me, but every fight, and we saw it with the Keith Thurman fight, massive underdog going into the fight. But then as we get closer, the odds maker come to their senses and we see, my God, this he's a machine. And uh, the odds even out. And he's not so much of an underdog when the fight draws near. Lynn Oliverio's uh, next question. Uh, when you had the Thurman fight, you said that it was an important fight since you were 40 years old. Uh, on this fight with Spence, how do you feel this one? And let me start that again. And Manny says, compared to the Thurman fight, I'm trying my best to be better than the Thurman fight. The speed has to be faster compared to the last fight. Take note of that. Um, I need to get leaner to be faster in speed and develop good conditioning. I have to be honest with you. I have not heard Manny really yeah, he's, he's mentioned his advantage in uh, the speed, uh, you know, past fights. But I've never, until now, heard him place that much emphasis on taking advantage and uh, taking more advantage of the speed in this fight. Um, he wants to be quicker than he was against Keith Thurman. Maybe that's why he faded just a little bit in the middle rounds. Maybe he just didn't have the same conditioning. Um, but he's he's quicker, and he's already much quicker than Errol Spence Jr. But if he ups the ante with the speed, it could be a long night or a very short, painful night for Errol Spence Jr. Uh, don't think, I've said this before, don't think he can't beat Thurman up. He can do that. Of course, we don't know. That's the joy, the joy of sports. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Uh, that's why it's so exciting to look forward to this fight. But Manny is paying extra attention to the speed advantage. Next question by um, uh, Lynn Oliverio. Could this be the last fight? Manny says, it's hard to tell. It could be or maybe another one. It depends. And then she asks, are you looking forward to be reinstated with the WBA super welterweight champion? And actually, that's happened already. Manny says, oh, there you go. Actually, WBA announced it already that They'll give me my belt back, my belt back. Come on, Mr. Ukas, you didn't earn that belt. That's Manny's. Uh, that's going to be good. It's going to be a unification fight. Three crowns will be at stake. WB, or IBF rather, WBA and WBC. So that's, uh, uh, wow. When's the last time you saw that in the welterweight division? It's been a while. Uh, and uh, just a few more questions as we... Uh, uh, you know, react to this great interview. Uh, and again, I know a little bit about it. I, have, I did it for years on the radio. Uh, Lynn Oliverio, great reporter uh, uh, on uh, Channel 5 in Manila, uh, interviewing Manny Pacquiao as he uh, gets going with the training for his um, Errol Spence Jr. fight. 
And uh, the next question from Lynn is, will you be going back to Gensan, uh, General Santos City, in the near future to train? And Manny says, as soon the Senate will be ending that session soon, so vacation time will come and I will go back to Gensan to train. I'll do my best to put honor to my country again and not to disappoint them. Again, vintage Manny. I don't know of any other, you know, we see fighters come in with their national flag and that's a beautiful thing but never do we see a fighter uh talk about honor to their country he's fighting for his fellow filipinos and uh yeah you got even if you're not a filipino and i think i i am kind of because i'm you know married to a Cebuana, uh i understand uh, you you have to honor your country and take pride in that now it's boo boy's turn to be uh, interviewed by lynn oliverio and uh, first uh, question by Lynn, uh, talking to Boo Boy about Manny. How is his condition? And Boo Boy says, well, it's been two years of no fighting because of the pandemic. At our first meeting in Jen San, it was loose and not serious. But this time, he's letting go of his strength. And uh, we've been exchanging strategies for our opponent. You would see a Manny Pacquiao who has not forgotten to take care of himself. His skill is still there. I'm only looking for his strength, his speed of the uh, punches, and the way his mind works when he puts it into action. I'm just uh, noticing his speed because he is 42 years old, but speed can be developed. It depends on the fighter. And we'll get to that speed back to 110 uh, percent. And Boo Boy goes on to say, from what I've seen so far, this Manny Pacquiao will be different. Ah, take note of this. <laughs> uh, whenever he steps in the ring, and he is all serious. And I really can't tell if this young champion, Errol Spence, is, is good. Uh, he's young and a world champion. We can't underestimate him. That's why we'll... Give a good condition to our fighting senator for his opponent, Errol Spence. But I assure you that we can win this because this will be the most important fight for our senator. The strength is still there, in my opinion. Uh, before we go for speed, we will cut his legs first. Cut meaning, you know, get, get his legs back in shape. Our determination is still there for our fighting senator. Good point by, uh, Errol, by, um, uh, uh, Boo Boy. And, and again, that's a professional trainer. Never, ever underestimate your opponent. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's Mother Teresa uh, or the bum of the, bum of the month, <coughs> Floyd Mayweather against Logan Paul. This is real fighting, real champions. Don't take your opponent lightly. You know, it's okay to talk a little trash, but uh, this is deadly serious stuff. And uh, Lynn Oliverio says, have you seen any fighters in the past that are similar to Spence right now? Boo Boy says, I've not seen any legendary fighter for all the champions out there. We've already fought him. <laughs> we have a Mar Margarito, Morales, Barrera. We went through a lot of good fighters. But because of our senator's good condition and training, this will be the best fight ever since the opponent is younger. A champion and an Olympian. Yeah, don't forget that. He's an Olympian. Uh, but our strength and speed is better than ever. You know, this... Uh, I love you, Boo Boy. He's, you know, you gotta love Manny Pacquiao's camp. They're all top notch. They're all professionals. They're all on the same page. And sometimes you see fighters who have a uh, like chaos in the ring. You can't have that. You gotta have guys like Boo Boy Fernandez, who who been a friend of Pacquiao since they were kids. You've got uh, <clears throat> Freddie Roach, who is the, the Hall of Fame trainer uh out in la at the wild card gym and you got justin fortune the uh, australian former heavyweight fighter who is the strength and conditioning coach and they're all working as one with the same game plan and it's worked many times in the past and uh, i can't see any reason why it's not going to work here again in uh, the next fight again hats off to Lynn Oliverio, uh, wonderful reporter, Channel 5 in Manila, for interviewing uh, Manny Pacquiao and uh, Boo Boy. And we learned a lot. Uh, some of it was not surprising. We know they're pros. <clears throat> Don't fix something that ain't broke, right? They've been doing this for, for decades. And, uh, 
and it works. It works better than any other fighter we've ever seen. So there you have it. That's the latest from the Manny Pacquiao camp training in the Manila area as we get set for the big fight. It's going to be August 21st in, uh, I believe, in Las Vegas in uh, the... Uh, Ah, I forget the hotel. What's the name of that place again? MGM Grand. Yeah, yeah. Is it? I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is, yeah. And uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, Jude, my great producer, and I, and our wives, of course, will be bringing the Filipino contingent to uh, Vegas, uh, not only uh, the week of the fight, but in July to check out the, campy, the uh, Pacquiao camp at work uh, at the Wild Card Gym. So stick with us. You're going to get the best. Pacquiao and fight coverage right here with Coffee and the Goose. All right. Thanks for watching again, you guys. We will stay in touch. You take care. <laughs>